Now, tell me a little bit about your warm-up, just thinking. Well, I couldn't do a really proper circle areas because this arena... It's a bit tricky to ride in here right now, yeah. But I did do circles and canter circles and walk circles. Okay. Like, just at these two ends. How did you find picking up the right lead canter? Did you have any trouble with that? It was good. It was good? Okay. Okay, perfect. So why don't you show me a couple of three-loop serpentines in trot, and that's a way you can just show me that you've established that good working rhythm. And it's probably easier in this ring right now to serpentine than just about anything else. <laughs> Thank you. Circle there, Leo, and I want to see just a little bigger trot before you enter your serpentine. And she's going to be a little distracted with things going on in the barn. So you want to create energy and focus that energy from her. Good. So thinking of that change of aids. Yeah, good. So let's do another serpentine. And really finding that moment where you switch your aids over and it becomes the new inside leg pushing into the new outside rein. Check your posting. And I know it's a little tricky with the jumps, Leo, but see if you can find a track this time that's on more of a curve. So that there's no diagonal lines. You're on a half circle, straight moment, half circle. <laughs> okay, I like this start, but just walk a sec, Leo. So if I were you, if I was doing a serpentine, instead of going there, I would probably go here, right? Because if you think of your moment of straightness is right in the middle, right? And then you want to make a half circle. I think you can do that better from here. As soon as you go through this track, you're on a diagonal line. See what I mean? So I would have you start at this end, come through here, switch her over, and then look where you can do another one similar to that. Like maybe you go right beside that jump and then just sneak in front of the other one. Okay, one more time. Because the thing with the diagonal lines is that we're not really testing her changes of bend, right? And that's one of the points of the serpentine is to check in with that she is listening to the bending aids and that she's supple around your left leg and around your right leg. Good. Keep a little feel of her mouth, hands a little bit apart. Okay, let's start again. Walk. Walk. So we're just doing a three loop serpentine. So it's only going twice through the middle. So here's your first third, right? Then you want to cut the rest of the ring in half. So your second loop needs to be quite a bit bigger. Okay. And I want you to start with a little more trot and with your hands that wide apart. Okay. Same width as her mouth. Hands need to be that wide apart. Okay. So you have got a little feel on both sides of the bit ring. Set the tone. Energy first. Into your feel, into the reins, right? Make sure the reins aren't bouncing. Feel her mouth. Keep the push. There you go. Now new inside leg. Sit twice. New outside rein. Big loop. That's the right idea. Look for your turn. Sit twice. New inside leg.
Okay, so we got a little lost again there. Where's our pooper scooper? So what I would do, you obviously can't go to the wall, right, is be fairly close to this jump, maybe right here, and then just sneak through in between them. Right, so that you can still get a fairly round shape there. It's not quite as round as you would like to be able to go through where the standards are there. Are you doing a warm up jockey or are you doing a full ride? Uh, oh, good. Good. So, yeah, go ahead. So remember, every time you get to the center line, you're sitting twice to match with the new direction, keeping energy now. Good. Energy now, out around the right leg. Now look through the gap where the pony's going right now and sneak through the gap. Oh. Okay, Leo, just walk us. <laughs> we are not having any luck. So two times through the middle. You've done one here. You've done one there. You don't need to turn again, right? From here, you need to get all the way to C. Okay, so once you sneak through this gap, you just keep going. Okay, so then your turns are about one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, right? You've got your three sections. Pretty even there. So again, once you sneak through here, you're basically just sort of leg yielding her out a little bit to the wall and then finishing all the way out to C. Okay? Okay, show me that. There's the one. Good. Now stay on a big circle up at this end. And walk a few steps and then trot on. Lower leg back underneath you. Right? Make sure you're not kicking your feet forward into the walk. So show me that again, Leo. And when you walk, I want you to think about bending your knees and sitting where you are. That's perfect. And trot on. A little more umph, go. A little more, come. Good, and canter. Good. And trot transition, staying tall, anchored in your leg, correct bend, correct energy in the trot, right, working trot. Yeah, better. Good, and canter. So we want to make sure in your working gates that you've got that spark there, that energy there, that when you go to ask her to do something different like lengthen or collect or do a transition, that she's got that fire in her belly, that little spark that she's able to do it. Good. Push her belly out a little bit. And one more canter here. Correct shape. Good. Now a smaller circle and canter. Nice, nicely done. Good, carry your hands. Both sides of her. Yeah, good Leo. Check in with her right bend. Make sure you can just see her inside eyelashes and inside nostril. Little more push. 
fresh. She needs to get a little more consistent in her frame. Right now she's kind of moving her head and neck up and down as she's inconsistently hitting the bit and avoiding the bit. Push her through to your hand. Good, Leo. Good. And counter transition. Sure. Over here? Yeah. Good. And smaller counter circle. Uh, it should be on the feed chart. Oh, okay. I was wondering if you do like upper heart and outside. I don't. Or Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's, prob yeah. it's probably to Timothy, but I don't. Yeah, that's just the only Oh, that's right. Just give him one flake of Timothy. Okay. Thank you. I like that shape. Good, Leo. Okay, across the ring where you can, simple change through the trot. So you're going to pick a spot, look up, get the bend, and canter. Go the other way, Haley. Good. Pick your spot. Was I supposed to change? <laughs> What's that? Was, that? was I supposed to change again? No, you were good. You just got to find somewhere to go once you get on that left rein. Where are we going? Are we going All right, let's give her a little walk. We're going to get right to some jumping because jumping in this ring setup is going to be far easier than doing flat work. Oh, blaze. Give me a break. Yeah, she's looking good. It's really come together this week. Hey, Mama, are you finally working hard enough? <laughs> Okay, Leo, let's try that line. What's that? This gives you a little more time if she's behind the leg at all. You've got a little bit of time to get her going before you meet your line. Right then, canter. Good, coming up the line. One, two, one, two, one. One, two, three, four, kick, turn, turn, turn. So Leo here, she is not allowed to run past ever, ever, ever. You need to do this, right? Take your hands to the left. At the same time, you're putting your brakes on a little bit because she was speeding up. So take her left and get after her with that side. You did, except she had already sped up and chosen to go past when you started to kick her, okay? Okay, come again, give yourself a little better approach to the first one. Okay, you were a little bit lucky coming off the turn there. Coming right around you there, Haley. Trying to get to our line somehow. Canter, use your space. Out to the rail. Good. One, two, one, two. Both hands to the wall. Both hands to the wall. Good job. Half halt. Half halt. Looking up. Make sure you're looking up through her ears. Okay, canter. Oh, canter again. Man. There's a lot going on here today. It's hard to know where to begin. Okay, so you were better riding down the line. You were very fierce and determined, and at the same time, you did not let her speed up. 
because you were so determined here and your leg was on so hard, she jumped from a long slot, which was totally fine, okay? If she had been a little more relaxed about doing her job and your leg wasn't so hard, she probably would have done one more stride, which also would have been fine. Because she jumped big, then you've got a lot of horse to control on the other side, okay? She landed on the wrong lead. As soon as you put your brakes on, she started to change her lead and she changed it in two strides. Okay, so she got the front leg and then she got the back leg. And then you were really good about quite quickly getting the bend and getting the quiet canter back on the circle. Okay, your approach in set her up much better down the line that time. Okay, we're gonna come try that again. Yeah. It's, um, it's this part that needs to be tighter. The flash is pretty loose. I could give it another hole, but the main thing is to have the cavison tight and then the flash doesn't slide down. Let's do the line again. So just as determined, seeing if we can get her to, to be a little more respectful about your right leg and stay straighter. And then on the landing side, Leo, when you go to slow her down, try not to lean back so much, okay? You kind of put your brakes on like this. I want you to stay here and put your brakes on with your abs tight, your leg tight, right? And in this position, you can be more flexible. As soon as you lean back, it's kind of hard to get out of that, okay? Okay, try that again. Oh my God, I hate the way the girls. Why are you doing that? Here. Eyes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Stay tall. Simple lead change. Stay tall. Good. Good, and Leo, you can always communicate with the other rider where you're going too, right? So there you could say outside and then for sure she knows which side you're picking. Okay, that was much nicer. Now, she did seven strides. She was pooping, so she was a little slower than normal. I think the six could be done very nicely as well, so we're gonna do that next. So now that she's not spooking at this jump, you can ride her more normally and try to keep her stride just a little bit more flowing and do the six. So if you jump in normal, you should be able to stay pretty normal and get the six strides done. Okay, so we're just doing those three jumps for now and then we're gonna do a course here momentarily. She might be spooky and looky at this jump. Be determined, keep your eyes up. Over jumps it, whatever, you've got to figure out your lead now so that you're organized for that one. Yeah, the quarter line with a little plank here. Okay, Leo, so start with your trot on the circle, your canter on the circle, and then straight down the quarter line over the plank jump. Nice canter. Now be firm, keep your hands apart, look up with leg, with leg, with leg. Good, simple change, look at your next jump. Good, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, simple change, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. And on your next simple change, just circle one more time. The next time you do a simple change, Leah, I want you to try to do less trot steps, okay? So you just wanna trot, organize, and then canter as quickly as you can organize the trot, right away you canter. Okay, so let's do those three again. Good for you. Now smooth, hands apart, so you've got a clear line down the reins. 
One, two, one, two. Keep the leg. One, two, one. Love it. Keep going. She got her lead. Looking ahead. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. And simple change. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Outside rain. And she got it. It's okay. Good, Leo. Okay, let's give her a good walk break and then we're gonna put our course together here. Good job, simple change. Look, leg. Three, four, five, six. Outside rain. Good job, Leo. Steady, steady, steady. Good job, look. Wait. Nicely done, much better. You know, it's interesting to see, and you're gonna see this on your video, how, bet, how much better she jumps off the left rein than the right rein. The shape of her jump is much better when she's on her left lead of canter. So that's something I've been working at um, when some of my other students have been riding her as well, we've been working on trying to keep her straighter across her jumps. You're going to see on the lines off the left, she twists her hind leg out to the left when she's jumping. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. And Harley is awesome. Just the two outside lines. Eye level up. Good leg there, Leo. Now organize. Looking left side. One, two, one. Go, two, three, four, five, and six. So we had a little bit quieter jump into that last line than we would have hoped for with trying to go do the on stride, five stride line. When you jump in a little quiet like that, if you're gonna go on stride, you need to get strong about it right away, right? Go, two, three, you wanna get that done early in the line so that you're not chasing her to the long spot at the end of the line. Right, because there's spots in this ring where you can get trapped, where you don't have a good spot to go. So you have to be looking and planning ahead for where you're headed in relation to the other horse as well. Ah. <clears throat> Excellent. Now make sure she's correctly bent for whichever direction you're going on. Bent to the direction of travel. Good, and eyes up above her ears. Looking above her ear height. Good, and sitting trot circle. Good, hands carried. Thinking about energy and shape. Good, and rising trot and half circle reverse direction. Really good, Leo. Good, and sitting trot, let's have you come down the quarter line here, 
and then do a little bit of a leg yield over to the wall. Good, steady, and sideways. Nice, Leo, nicely done. Praise her and go rising drop. Good, find a spot to circle. And sitting trot, half circle and reverse. Good, I like how your heels are still down. Awesome, push your belly out a little bit. And stay on your circle here. And counter transition. Nice. Good, hands up over her shoulders, elbows bent, there we go. And then go as straight as you can down the quarter line where there's no jumps. Uh, no, that was a bit creative, but that's all right. <laughs> so do a simple change, because you're on the wrong lead now, right? Because you got yourself turned around there. Steady, steady, steady. Sometimes steady needs to be strong. Do not let her go faster and faster. Rude woman. And then when you half halt that firmly, you need to back it up with that much leg, right? Whatever your hand does, your leg needs to do that much. Good, and trot transition, and rhythm in the trot. Good, Leo. Finish with a good trot here, toes up, rhythm. Steady, steady. Good, and sitting trot, lift her up a little from your leg, making sure she's not rooting down on you. Good, half circle reverse. Eyes, eyes, eyes. You don't need to look in the dirt to change direction there, okay? That's one of those moments where you have a habit of looking really downwards. Look there, good, good. Awesome, Leo, elbows up in front of your hips. Good, bring your hips a little more bent so you're sitting upright, not behind. That's better. Good, and quarter line, leg yield over to the wall, and then make a circle here. Good, leg yield over, and circle. are going to drag the ground like Leo's. You're almost the same height. Yeah, my feet are probably bigger. <laughs> I can ride Maggie. And they're only like, what? That big. That's how farther it goes. Yeah, but how about this side, Leo? Oh. I I see. It, the stirp? Yeah. yeah. He'll be jumping dressage saddle, Leo. <laughs>
Oh, it's gonna feel so small, Leo. You haven't been on a pony in two years. Yeah, I would, Leo. I don't, I don't think I can't. I, I'd be oh, like ten on. times taller than you. <laughs> come on. You could use a mountain block. I could, but I'd be like, or you could use a fence. I could use a mountain block on this one. Well, I can't. I just don't like it. Okay. Okay. I would uh, just go over to the mountain block or get a leg up. It's just a little easier. Remember, put your weight on slowly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and just take your time and get an honor to make sure she doesn't spook or anything. He. Yeah, it's a horseback archery pony. What's that? Do you remember how they use uh, carriages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For driving? Yeah, driving. So I was thinking that may be. You don't even need that. She seems to be listening well, eh? <laughs> Maybe trot over some poles on the ground. See if it backs up, it should back up. No? Okay. That way. Behind us. Okay. Okay, keep trotting. I wonder if I can canter. Do you think? try. She's warmed up. She was in the round pen. Okay, say the word canter though, loud. She says she can canter way better than that. Okay. Just don't don't pull on the reins.
Good yeah? Good pepper. Okay, um, maybe do a canter over. He's kind of zigzagging there a bit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Another reverse, Leo. That was pretty good. Go back. 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 Huh. You did it without the reins, just the legs, I think. Back. Back. Oh, there he goes. Okay, give him a rub. Okay, go walk around and cool him off, and uh, that was entertaining. <laughs> it says, what's this guy doing? <laughs> I'd rather pull and carry this guy. <laughs> uh, Walk on. Walk Voice on. command. Steering doesn't work that well. Yeah, so you gotta I'll be go the boss. I'll back away. I'll back away. <laughs> Let's turn this way. Good. Back. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have to go around the whole arena, this is how it's, we do backup. It's a battle of the wits now. I, I think I'm outsmarting them. You're outsmarting them? Yeah. I was playing a stump. No. Yeah, there you are. Now turn. Now, now turn. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Some horses are petrified of ponies. It's okay. Oh, yeah, one of camera. me? Yeah. Oh, it's the camera. Well, the last, yeah, maybe because you had a camera the last time you were in On that the tripod. Chair. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look at it. No, under 16. We'll see. Oh, okay. Hey, it's okay. Just don't booger on the camera, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's right. There you go. Okay, keep them going. So 
What do you think, Leo? Did you like it? Yeah. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Sorry, you want to hop off? Is she puffing? Is she, or he okay? Okay. okay. I don't want to bend up. Yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Ah, it's a long way down, I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>